Yep, yep. Single coming out Friday. Yep, my single you know is coming out actually on Thursday, Thursday the fourteenth. Um, and make sure you check it out because it's fire. It's Late night, it's something about you when we chill on a late night. Brush me, it just feels right. Just one hit of your warmth, and I'm on cloud nine. Cloud nine, you got me in my feelings. Can't believe this is real. Thank you. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. What up, what up, man? It's your boy Shot. Shot vs. A Bite Podcast, episode 172. Got special guests in the building, but um, I ain't trying to throw no shade at nobody, though. But the last podcast she was on, I could have sworn they stole my, my intro, like word for word. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. That, that's how you starting? <laughs> was, wow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. That sounds familiar, but you know, hey, shout out to everybody. But, uh, you know, we got a. Uh, <laughs> I'm a, she a, I, I'm mother of the year, you know what I'm saying? One of the best singers in the city. She used to be a podcast host. She said she was going to start a podcast last time she was on here. Wow. I don't know what happened, though. This is crazy. Miss, this energy <laughs> that you're starting off with Miss, is don't, really uh, wild. Don't test our gangster. I guess I'm testing it right now. Wow. You know what I'm saying? We got Tori Scott. I call her Tori the Great. What's good? <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? I just want to let y'all know I'm coming back with the same energy. For sure. Because you cutting up right now. No, I know in your, you, I know your mind. You're like, damn, that, that uh, intro sound familiar. <laughs> I am not. I'm not. I I'm not like, responding uh, to that one. Cause y'all, you homie. I, but no, remember I said, dang. Me, no, for sure. I heard that. For sure. I definitely said that. I'm like, I'm like they ain't hearing remix or nothing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I called Q like, hey, cuz you know, I, you know, you the homie, so I checked it out. Like, I'm like, all right, all right, it's all good. You know, what I'm saying I'm a, I'm a, I'm that person that everybody look up to. You know, it's all good, man. You know what? <laughs> we go. I'm just going salute to that. Salute to that. Yeah. I cannot believe you right now. Hey, it's all good though, man. I'm just showing love. Man. Ain't no hate, man. But uh, you know, speaking of salute, we always, you know, what I'm saying start everything off with a salute. You already know the rules. Got to be somebody in your circle. Can't be no relationship, no parents, no kids. It got to be somebody who wouldn't expect a salute. Um. Hmm. She's thinking. I am thinking. It, it, it'd be funny because like, it's like right now I've really just been messing with my circle. So yeah, it, it could be somebody in your circle. It just can't be no, you know, saying no siblings no. or nothing. Okay, got you. I would just say my friend Christiana. Okay. She uh, she been keeping me grounded yeah, and yeah. focused as an artist. So Christiana, her. how old is Christiana? Twenty eight. Hmm. Sound familiar? ain't sound familiar. I don't know. I could swear. I don't think I talked to her. Check her music out, Miss Christiana. Okay, no, she was no singer. She's fine. <laughs> She's fine. All right, all right I'm going to uh, salute because I've been falling off. I've been letting people salute. I ain't been doing no salutes. So I'm going to salute um, my homeboy. He was a, he was a young kid in the neighborhood. His name was uh, Shondell. He, was, he used to call him Baca back in the day or whatever. Dog. <laughs> that was his nickname. So he stayed in the hood, man. He's warring and junk like that, man. I see he doing his thing. He just got engaged. Got two kids, you know what I'm saying, two little boys or whatever. So he doing his thing. I see him, you know what I'm saying, doing the right thing as far as being a father, being a about to be a husband and stuff like that. So I want to salute him. Step. Tell him to keep doing his thing and stuff like that. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, bro. But uh, you smell that cute? I smell some love in the air. <laughs> it's just a, <laughs> I smell love. You know what I'm saying? You see how I said ways to, you know. But no, it just seems like you, you know, you seem, seem happy. I've been noticing a little stuff. Like, how are you? I am great. <laughs> I am definitely happy. You know what? I, did, I don't think I prepared enough for this because I, I see this all. I see it all in my brain now. Yeah. Um, but yes, I am very happy. For sure. And yes, I love myself. You feel me? Hell yeah. I love hell. God. I mean, you got to love yourself. amazing, you yeah. know? Praise the Lord. It's Sunday. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. If they, you know, I just, I just wanted to let you know I smell love. I, you know what I'm saying? What does it smell like? <sighs> you know, it's that time of the year. Look, it, this is the time of year for in love. It is because you got sure. to, you, the summer times like when you, time. yeah, summer times when you be in the club going crazy, yeah, stuff like that. Then you know, it get cold. You want to have somebody hug up on, you know, what right. I'm saying somebody uh -huh. to caress, right? So you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm how, following. Yeah, how's it going you know, for you? It's, it's cuffing season. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. So uh, you know, people. A lot of people asked about you too last time on the show. Like, are you are you single? Are you, you know, say you ain't got to answer if you want to. So. I mean, I'm going to say that I'm not single, but okay. also that my relationship is not like 
out there. Yeah. All right, all right. That's a good, a uh, good way to ask. Like, why, why, um, why do people like to keep like that stuff like private? Um, for me personally, it's not even on purpose. Mm-hmm. Kinda like you just ain't like the type just, of person like. I used to be, mm-hmm. but I, I feel like it just changed. I don't mm-hmm. have no desire to like. Oh, I want to mm-hmm. do this. I want to do that. So, I just like to keep to myself. Yeah, was it like a lesson learned, like from a previous relationship that you like? You know what? The next time I do get in a relationship, I'm gonna keep it on the hush because. I was, you know what I'm saying, talking a Honestly, little too much. No, because I don't feel like I've ever really hit none of my relationships or mm-hmm. nothing like that. It's just, it's business. For sure. Like, Instagram yeah. to me and all of that is business. Mm-hmm. So it's like, that's not business. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my life. You feel yeah, me? for sure, for sure. Hell yeah, man. You ever hate a relationship with it because the person was ugly? Ooh. Or you thought like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I yeah. haven't. No, that's yeah. not it. Cause that, that means y'all want to go out in public. Hey, uh, sometimes you, you can just find like something that you like about, but everybody else kind of like been talking shit. So you like, I'm just gonna tuck this one in. Okay, <laughs> if that's personality. Yeah. Or, okay, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. But <laughs> man, but no, sh- salute to that. Salute to you. You know what I'm saying? When you in a relationship, do it make it easier like to write music, in opposed to being? Cause we always talk about how like we love like when um. Ours like Keisha Cole's or Mary J. Blige, like right. when they are in um, when they single, and opposed to being in a relationship. Because when they single, they they talking that heartbreak, they talk some good shit. But so we don't really like the happy Mary. So I feel like it's a toss up. Like mm-hmm. it can be easy. It's not even really about that. It's about how you experiencing what's going on. I guess for sure. So it's like it may help you create a song, but it may also distract you from a song. You mm-hmm. just gotta choose what you're gonna kind of do with it no nah. because even when i was doing music like even when rapping like i think you you wanted to write your best stuff for it is when you like kind of like mad about something or pissed off about something so it's easier for me personally it's mm. easier for me to write when i'm pissed off yeah but i don't really like being pissed off so it's <laughs> like i just gotta focus more when i'm in a good place i gotta like it, it's more intentional i guess what i'm trying to say for sure for sure this last relationship conversation topic i'm gonna ask do you see marriage in your future? Most definitely. All right. So you, you like you, you want, was you one of those little girls growing up? Like, oh, I'm gonna have this big dream wedding. Honestly, no. Mm. I feel like I have gotten more excited for marriage as I figure out what type of wife I could be. So okay. I just feel like yeah. it's only gonna be dope as hell. For sure, personally. for sure. Are you ready for that? Like right now, or like that's somebody you like? I'm not even on that I'm, type of time right I'm now. I'm not ready for marriage yeah. at this exact moment. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to love, man. Again, man, I smelt it, so I had to go ahead, you know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> All, right. Like now, All uh, right. Last time you was on the show was uh, last year, November 14th. You know what I'm saying? We chopped up, had a good uh, conversation. So how things been going for you ever since then? We um, chopped up for real, you know, about nothing. So, so catch up on uh, Tori and Greg. Since then, it's kind of been a lot going on, but... Nothing going on at the same time. <laughs> uh, so after I was here, mm. we talked, and then I actually had writer's block okay. when I came here. So I was like, kind of doing music, but not really making songs. Kind of mm-hmm. just like singing, posting stuff on Instagram. But it came to a point where I couldn't really finish a song. Like everything mm. was just the idea, and it was it was like irritating me. I was getting yeah. very frustrated. Um, so honestly, from November up until June, July, mm-hmm. I was going through like a whole bunch of music shit. Yeah. Where I just was like trying to find like the right song or like yeah, yeah. but it was pissing me off. Mm-hmm. Like I was crying. Yeah, I was like, why can't I write? Because I ain't never had a problem writing For sure. before. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely been a transition, and especially because I'm happy. Mm-hmm. Love. Being happy and then going through something like that. Yeah. At the same time, it's just like, damn, yeah. I just want to make some good music. No, for sure. How, how do you get over that though? Like being having writer's block and like kind of like psyching yourself out or just getting your mind back right to be able to complete a, a song. Honestly, for me, the number one thing was God. Like mm-hmm. I really had to focus on what my next thing was mm-hmm. because I just got to a point where I just wanted to create differently yeah. i guess is what i'm trying to say yeah. um so that's why my writer's block was where it was mm. so i was just like what do i need to write about like yeah. what space am i supposed to be in because i'm not mad no more i'm not you know mm. on that 
on what I was on yeah. when I got here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You never try to get like no help, like hey, uh, you know, such and such, shit, you know, what I'm saying help write do a collab song or something. You know what I'm saying? So I did like maybe in like November, December, mm -hmm. but then once I couldn't write, it's different. Like I have high expectations of myself, so I feel like if I'm gonna collab with somebody, I want it to be from my dope space. Yeah. I don't want it to be from a space where I'm kind of like trying to figure it out. I feel like that's personal mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 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 Cause I was going to say, cause uh, I know you got a, a good working relationship and that's your homie Renzo. Yeah. Uh, you know, saying that's your engineer and stuff like that. Yeah. Talk about their relationship as far as like just working wise and how being cool with somebody can help you when it comes to like making music and, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we record with people or we do music with people, but we're not really cool with them. Facts. So you really, really don't have the best product because they're not really giving you the input that you need. Exactly. So talk about that relationship with y'all and how y'all get cool and stuff like that. Gotcha. Um, so Renzo, that is my brother. That's my main man's, like, ride for him. Mm. Uh, we actually met on DJ BJ New Music Mondays. Yeah, for sure. I remember um, he was on He there. was one of his like co-host mm -hmm. and I remember he used to be in the back like he just used to be chilling. I'm like, this... He's not saying nothing. Yeah, like, sure. what's going on? Yeah. So I remember I, I went to the studio and I ended up linking with him. And we've been cool ever since. Like, mm -hmm. literally from New Music Monday, I found somebody who I can work in the studio with. We worked together the first time and he helped me understand myself and my sound in the studio. Mm -hmm. And we just, we create good stuff. Whether it's he send me beats, whether yeah. it's we write a song together. It's like... I don't know how to explain it. Magic. Yeah, it just it just work. It just yeah. work. He's now, definitely the part of my creativity, like so far as he can assist me when can't for nobody sure. else for real. Can he tell you some trash without you being your feelings? Oh yeah, most definitely. And I might tell him some trash. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, vice versa. We yeah. gotta we gotta be honest. We we definitely got a very honest friendship for sure. Mm -hmm. Now outside of the um, you know, having writers blocks, what's been some ups and downs for you in the uh, in twenty twenty three? Because um, I seen some things or whatever. I took some screenshots, some some stuff. I was just wondering, like you, it's like you was going through some stuff, or whatever. You was a, uh, I know you started doing like a journal mm -hmm. or whatever. And um, the one, one thing you had said, and I quote, <laughs> you said, "The way I keep the peace I found is by staying close to myself and God, building new habits, speaking life into myself, and allowing God to speak life into me." This is Tori Sky. Uh, this Tori Sky is less than a year old. I have to hold her a little closer and make sure I only place her in a safe hands because this is very intentional talk about that i can read i'm glad i was there missing that <laughs> but just, <laughs> talk about, I can read. <laughs> just, um, just talk about that like like finding peace within yourself this year and just like discovering new things and and keeping a journal and just like how, how have that helped you okay um so like i said after i left here mm -hmm. it was very hard for me to write but i also feel like past me having writer's block it was hard for me to write because it was such a new space in my life. Mm. Like I said, I was happy. Um, I have a good job. Mm. I'm very blessed. My village is amazing. And I've never been this happy before. For sure. Yeah, I've yeah. never experienced this type of, you know. But while I was happy, I didn't know how to be happy because... Because you've never been happy. I've never been happy. <laughs> For sure. So, um, it was as if my unhappy self and my happy self like couldn't find the same mm -hmm. the same person yeah, yeah, yeah. so i started to journal to try to my brain is weird so <laughs> excuse me the way i explain this weird. um but you know blend them together mm -hmm. like i don't want to necessarily get rid of my pain because i feel like it made me who i am but i want to be happy you yeah. feel me i want to be in that spot mm -hmm. so started journaling started praying started going to church um and those posts is kind of like me acknowledging my pain yeah, but in sure. a way that's beautiful mm -hmm. to where when y'all hear my music and when y'all see me out y'all know what space i'm in but yeah. i still didn't tell y'all too much of my business exactly 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 well and how old are you you what 27 20 i had to think about it 26. <laughs> <laughs> what was in the way prior to that that was like stopping happiness you know what i'm saying because you like you, you your mother i'm not gonna say like of course you're happy with your kid that's yeah that's no question but like what was stopping like you know saying you from being in a happy spot happy place honestly so i wouldn't say 
what was going on at the moment was mm. stopping me from doing it. I just feel like I've always kind of overthought a lot of stuff in okay. my life. So whether it's, like I said, the high expectations that I have of myself mm. or uh, being a good friend or so on and so forth. Like my focus was not myself. Yeah, 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 that yeah. was my problem. So I actually had to stop hanging out with my friends for a second. Mm. I had to, like when I say I was in the house, I didn't go nowhere yeah. for like months. Yeah. Just. Did they understand? Did they understand that? Cause sometimes friends don't understand when you got like. I would say like a big part of my core friends definitely understood it. Mm. And when I was ready to say like, all right, y'all. Like, I'm ready to come back outside. <laughs> yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm good now, yeah. Like, I've been able to also talk to them about what I went through. Mm -hmm. Now, if I went through what I went through and I couldn't talk to them, mm -hmm. that'd be a problem. Yeah. But they let me figure it out by myself. Mm -hmm. They let me hone in and didn't make me feel bad. For you sure. know what I'm saying? For sure. But is that safe, though? Like, is that safe to, uh, to figure things out alone? I wouldn't say that I figured them out completely alone. I mm -hmm. still talk to my friends. I just wasn't going out. I wasn't, yeah. you feel me? But for me, it was. Okay. Because I, prior to that, I was the type of person that would just stay outside. Yeah. I would just keep trying to, like, I don't mm -hmm. know the word I'm trying to use, but act like it didn't happen. For sure. Yeah, you and feel that, me? And it, that dude, I, I remember a post you made, you said, no relationship, whether romantic or platonic, will take my... Uh, Take me for my peace. And then you say, uh, uh, sometimes I have to remove myself from the world to hear God louder. You know what I'm saying? So, like, so that's what you kind of like speaking on as far as yeah, like. Most definitely. Yeah. Like, nothing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that can possibly take me away from myself, like, mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. So, you have, you feel like you didn't put yourself first in a lot of situations? Yeah, but with a balance, though. Mm -hmm. Not trying to be selfish and not trying to, you know. It's just when it's my time and I don't feel like doing nothing, I'm not doing it. Yeah. So you, you think a journal, like writing this stuff down, has like helped you a lot more than just going to like maybe seeing like a, a you know, saying a therapist or whatever? I would say personally, for me, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say not, I knock a therapist. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not saying I would never go to a therapist ever. Um, but I'm very self reflective, I'm for very sure. aware of myself mm -hmm. and. I'm not like I said. I don't want to sound like I'm saying like I don't yeah. need one or nobody sure. need one, but it's like I'm all right. I'm good. <laughs> but people be saying they all right. They not all right. But I, I believe you though. I believe I'm you. Good. I believe you. So, so the whole journal thing have helped you a lot because uh, it's funny. I I I do kind of like keep things. I guess you can call it a journal. Mm -hmm. I just do it in my notes. Okay. You feel me? So like mom? when I turned on my birthday, my birthday was June 21st. I said that I was gonna like start making little entries. And then a year from that day, I was going to maybe, depending on how it is, because turn into like a book or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I talked to him about it. So I'm going to ask you, what's the last journal entry you made? Mm -hmm. And what was it about? <laughs> oh, you got it in your phone and shit. Come on. I believe, yeah, the last yeah. one that I did do was in my phone. Um, I mean, honestly, That's we, if, you, if we speaking technically... Mm -hmm. The last journal I made, I put on Instagram. So okay. I could just read that quote real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. Read, read, um, read for us, read for us. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Diary, this season of my life is very intentional. So today, moving forward, I will always be the vibe, feel the vibe, and keep the vibe. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Okay, so your job just be straight to the point then. Yeah. There don't be no long, like, goddamn letter. No, 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 no. Okay. My, it depends. I be having letters in my shit sometimes. I be writing. Like, <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> sometimes like shit that, it do go on and on. Because yeah. it's shit that I wouldn't allow myself to post on Facebook because I don't want to be like, oh, this nigga crying. You feel me? Like, But you posted on Instagram? Oh, you don't I'm post on that Okay, yeah. I, I just, I just, like the last one I wrote, I said that um, it was just like, I, I've been thinking lately about how I felt like kind of like, um, I felt like I did my, my mom dirty a little bit. So I was writing because my mom passed away and I said that the, the one thing in my life I, I, um, that I'm kind of like regretful about is that I wasn't able to put her in a position to be able to like just to chill. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because she worked her ass off and stuff like that. So I ain't get put her in that position. So now my goal is to make sure that my family, you know what I'm saying, one day just chill, take it easy, ain't got to worry about shit. I like that. Yeah. But that's the type of journal you can put out there. Because mm -hmm. some people need to hear that. Yeah, but I don't, I don't be one niggas in my feelings, man. <laughs> like, this nigga is feeling shut up, cuz. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> saying? But no, I, I write a lot of shit down. Like, now I think that helped. Because sometimes you can't talk to people because I feel like they don't say 
if they don't say the right thing that you want to hear, you're like, oh, man, I, I wasted my fucking time saying this to you. No, that's facts. A lot of people are definitely like that. Okay, so let's talk about some good things besides the love you I smelt in the air earlier. What's, <laughs> what's been some ups this year? Like, what's been, you know what I'm saying, some ups for you that you that you proud of besides your, you know what I'm saying, your growth or whatever? Um, I would definitely say my son is in a new phase of life, so mm -hmm. it's been really cool to kind of watch him mm -hmm. become this little boy that mm -hmm. is just so rambunctious but so amazing at the same time mm -hmm. um so that's probably been since i've been at home more and more and more i haven't really been you know putting on no music and stuff like that being able to just focus on him completely mm -hmm. Has been really dope. Now, how old's your son again? Like we like four now, right? Four, yeah. Yeah, I remember. I got a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you but uh, <laughs> now he. So is he in preschool yet? He's actually about to start school this week. Oh, I know you hype. I'm. Oh, you gonna cry? Um, that, that's what you are gonna cry. I'm we need gonna, some cameras out like there. I'm in a mix. No, don't bring that camera out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I'm, I'm definitely in a mix. Like I'm excited for him because since COVID, he's been mm. at home with me. For like, sure. Literally, since COVID, he ain't never went to daycare or nothing like that. So. I'm excited to have him like mm. experience for sure. Yeah, that was and, and do like his thing. Cause he, he is a funny kid. Yeah. Like, so yeah, I've been me, waiting for my phone call. Let me ask you this: <laughs> um, uh, we're having kids and school. You got learning. Like, how would you how would you feel if your your kid had like a learning disability? Um, like I, I say that because my oldest son. Smart as all outdoors. I never had to help him with a homework assignment. Thank God. To this day, <laughs> he's in 11th grade. My youngest son, I, I had to like, I was kind of like in denial. He, it, it wasn't that he, he didn't know the stuff, but he just learned at a different pace as the other kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when my wife at the time was telling me like, all right, he need like, he, he go out of class for like 30 minutes just for one on one time because he learned better by by himself than with right. a big uh, big class because he get frustrated a lot of times if he don't get it right. So how would you feel like if a teacher came to you like, hey, uh, you know what I'm saying, your son having problems, let's try this. Like, would you be with it or you would be against it? Like, how would you react to that? I would definitely be with it um, for a couple of reasons. Um, first one being, I feel like I didn't necessarily have learning disability, but mm -hmm. I definitely had to learn my own way. And for I sure. know, like every way that was taught was not everything that was good for me. I had to mm -hmm. figure it out on my, by myself. You feel mm -hmm. me? Um, and I feel like as a parent, you have to kind of have that conversation with yourself mm -hmm. before it happens. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. personally for me, because I do have, you know, people around me who have autistic children and stuff okay, like yeah. that. It's something that I have asked myself. Mm -hmm. like, how would you? Not even how, mm -hmm. but just be yeah. prepared for, for all sure. things, you know, mm -hmm. whenever. Yeah, yeah, but that was like, because I'm like, man, I was in denial. I'm like, fuck How'd that. you feel? I was mad when she told me, like, like oh, because I'm like, I'm thinking the old school way. Like, I was born in yeah. 86, I'm older, so I'm thinking, we used to call kids, like, you know, you, you know, LD and stuff like that. Like, used to be like, you be in class yeah. by yourself, you kind of out it, you know what I'm saying? But then my brother, he's a teacher, so he called me because I didn't know she had called my brother on me. <laughs> So he was tripping. Man, so I'm at, I'm at work. Like, I'm like, what the hell? He called me for at seven in the morning. And he's like, dog, you a jackass. I'm like, what? And then he's just breaking it down. Like, he was telling me, like, how one of his kids in his class is the smartest kid in the class. Mm -hmm. But he just got to kind of do his stuff by himself. You know, he said, dog, ain't nothing wrong with your son. It just, nigga, sometimes you got to see now because you can wait later on and then be a problem. Exactly. And, and you got to be able to teach them how to deal with it and yeah. kind of. You know, because yeah. they're the ones leaving the classroom. So it's like, for sure. give them that confidence still. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm like, oh, he's like, dog, everybody ain't your oldest son. Because I'm like, I'm like, I never had to help him with nothing. So I'm just thinking, hey, all my kids going to be like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was I was in denial, but I'm cool. Now, then when I start thinking about it, when I was in school, I think the thing that messed me up is when I like do a test or whatever, I think about three different answers that could be the right answer. Said, so then, <laughs> so then it, this makes sense too. Because yeah, like when my, I was helping my wife with something. I'm like, damn, it could be this, it could be that. I'm like, damn, I got a problem. <laughs> like, that's why I used to always hate multiple choice because you know it's two questions, two answers that's definitely wrong. But it's those two that is a possibility. Said, you're trying to trick me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah, I used to hate school. Damn. Like, would you, would you good, a good student? I was good as a student, but it was like I just, I went. Yeah. Like, you know, I wasn't like went with the flow. But I had good grades. You feel me? Yeah, yeah but I shit. wasn't like on a row. My job so bad, it had like a gray on that motherfucker that I've never even seen. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, what the fuck is any? Like, <laughs> what subject? Man, um, oh, I all 
African American history. Uh, That's terrible. Listen, when I tell you, <laughs> I <laughs> first of all, African American history is crazy. Because I stopped going. Specific. I stopped going. I stopped going. I knew. I knew. I knew my history. Cause like I was, I was on that shit. You just told on yourself. No, I just stopped going to the class, bro. <laughs> it wasn't because I wasn't applying myself for getting the shit. Wrong. I wasn't getting it wrong. I just wasn't going to class. Shout out to Miss Muslim. Mm -hmm. I wasn't coming to that class at all. I had to do fifteen um, assignments and the final just to graduate in one day. What? Mm -hmm. Wow. Because she was trying That's to hold me crazy. back. That's yeah. crazy. But what were you about to say? I'm sorry, I cut no, you off. No, I was off. just about to say I failed history every. Not failed. Yeah. I got a D in history every year since the sixth grade. I just yeah. so happened to pass. I was so <laughs> horrible in history. Man, see, history was my shit. Like I was just like kind of like. I'm definitely better now, but. Yeah. Whew, no. I think I love history because I just like I just like knowing about old shit. Like I remember it was a president. He got a bathtub in the, in the White House that he got stuck in because he was too fat. Hey, what was his name? What? I think it was, it was Tav or some shit like that. Or whatever, but he was a fat ass nigga, and he got stuck in the bathtub. So that bathtub is still in the White House. Like that's crazy. It be little shit like that that I just remember. No, that's that's lit. Right. But I just didn't nigga. like. I didn't like the books. I didn't like reading history books. Like that was boring. That, yeah. I didn't like learning history like that. Yeah, you went to DPS. No, I actually went. Well, I think we talked about that. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. I went out of school and camp for high school. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, cause you used to fight a lot. You beat people up and shit. No, I did not say so, <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm talking shit. I never told you that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> she was scrapping toys and that boy scrapping man listen i was chilling yeah. now if you had to give this year a movie title with the shit you've been through ups or downs what would that movie title be called um yeah you know you always ask me some good <laughs> questions what i tell you yeah man you know they look up to me <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I would say um i'm gonna steal a different title but i would say the game the game? Yeah. Why, why would you say that? Because I'm like learning. Mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot of shit. Yeah, for but sure. But not just in music, just in life. Like I'm. I'm yeah. Just been... My shit be called stress <laughs> <laughs> or life. Like, cause that shit be hard. Like, this, this big <laughs> you year. Talk about stress. Man, stress in life is two different things. Stress is like. Man. Almost not rated. Yeah, man. I'll be coming over here about to cry like. <laughs> I did come in this bitch be putting a whole front in front of the camera. Like, this nigga happy? It sound like <laughs> it sound like you need to go to a therapist or journal. No. I mean I told you I, I do my little journal. Okay, make sure you do it. Yeah, today. I do that joke. I don't I mean <laughs> I think we all might need to see a little ther you know, do a little, you know, therapy sessions or whatever. Just Yeah. I told my wife that I, I might I might Cause like I ain't lost a lot of people, death, yeah, just life happening. Like sometimes you don't even have a moment to even re really reflect on anything, or sometimes you don't have nobody to really talk to. Who going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause you talk to your niggas like, man, you a whole ass nigga. Shut up, like. No, that's <laughs> facts. That's big facts. You definitely gotta have somebody that you can have a conversation with. For, for sure. sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Then you don't want to just be calling anybody about. Oh, he gonna start crying like. No, I'm actually the <laughs> same way. That's why I can't talk about you. Cause yeah. I'm I'm the same way for sure. Yeah. I, but. I got at least three we, people. For sure. I can, I, for sure. I can call for sure. Now we uh, you mentioned like how you like to keep things private and stuff. Have social media messed up living in the moment? And I say it because if you go to like concerts, if a fight break out, if a car accident, no matter what it is, graduation, phone, phone right there. Thanks. Like back in the day, like you could just like remember it. Like damn, remember that? Like do you think social media kind of like messing up living in the moment and just enjoying the time that you with? You know what I'm saying? Your people, Most even definitely. when you getting drunk, you got, hey, smacking ass and shit. Like. <laughs> I would definitely say that it is throwing off um, being in the moment. Yeah. Like, how do you, you can't experience both at the same time fully. Like, mm -hmm. it's just no way. Yeah. So, for yeah, sure. Yeah, man. I, I hate that shit, man. I'm like, damn, every time, everywhere we go, we niggas, everybody, even women, like. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, hold on, hold on, let me take a picture. Yeah, exactly. Let like, me damn. take a picture. Yeah, but then, I do like taking pictures, like, because I, I feel like, more yeah, that's different. That's yeah. different. But, but it's the hold on boomerangs. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. My, my wife, her cousin. Come on, get the drink. Like, come on, man. I'm, <laughs> bring it in. <laughs> this is stupid. At, at what point did you you feel like you really like grew up? What would you say is this year? I feel like I grow up every year, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, but yeah, I would say this is like my my grown woman year for sure. Now, what advice would you give your son though, so he won't like? I ain't gonna say, like, wait too late to really like, like yeah. you said, to love yourself or to really, you know, what I'm saying. What, what advice would you give to, to your son growing up as far as like how he should handle life and just things in general? 
Um, honestly, I would tell him number one to experience, mm-hmm. um, and but experience with good intentions, mm-hmm. I guess. So, and I feel like if you do that, you pray, you talk to yourself, mm-hmm. then you really should be good. Yeah. And then even if you're not that, you can talk to me. <laughs> For sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> you see any other kids in your future? Um, honestly, not right now. Yeah. Not right now. That's. I'm focused. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got my preschooler and my music. That's yeah. all I need right now. <laughs> yeah, and Craig. Oh, uh, damn. But <laughs> Ooh, uh, shy. Well, you Craig. are cutting. Up. <laughs> this is why you What's up? I'm just gonna be quiet. Okay, go ahead, man. It's okay. You can say you can you can you can say F me. Yeah, <laughs> no, it ain't even F you. Oh. You be doing your research and I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. I'll be trying. But the thing about it, because I'm like I don't bring people on for a second time unless I feel like you are, you know, saying dope or you can have a conversation or something like that. Because a lot of people, be, they just want to come on just to come on, like dog, like and just be here, just be here, man. Like <laughs> a lot of people don't deserve a second interview. Some people don't deserve a first one. Oof! Like no, for, <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, like. I'm, well, I'm glad to be back. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. No, because when you got podcasts, you know you have podcasts. A lot of times, people feel like if you more accessible than other platforms. That you don't have a choice but to let them on. Nah, that's that's big facts, but that's not how it works. Yeah, like I feel you have to be dope at what you do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm not just gonna sit here to have a conversation. Now, don't get me wrong; some podcasts definitely mm-hmm. just want to have the vibe. They want to talk, whatever. Mm-hmm. But if you have a focus on, mm-hmm. nah, yeah. bring something to the table. And speaking of that, how do you have have people? present you with some music and you be like this shit is trash how do you <laughs> tell them that or, or don't tell them that because <laughs> he'll be like hey man this shit yeah, is trash. i want to get my mans on the show or i want to be on the show or you be like dog this music is unbearable honestly so i have heard some music that was you know mm. just not my cup of tea for sure and <laughs> you just say as less as possible <laughs> like <laughs> And it depends. If it's my friend and they send me something, I'm going to be like, you should work on this. You should yeah, do this. Yeah, you got to keep it with your people. But if it's just somebody that's just like here, mm-hmm. I just be like, yeah. I point out something good. Yeah. Maybe it was See, the no, beat. If uh, I showed you some music, like, I want you, that's the first thing people say, the beat. That beat hard. You know your shit trash. <laughs> when, nigga, I, when the nigga told me my beat was hard, like, bro, you don't like the music, though. Like, <laughs> nah, because that's just like, I don't know. I don't want to hurt their feelings. You yeah. feel me? But sometimes you need that because if I give you some music and I don't know you that good, I still expect the, I still expect like real feedback. So it depends. If you're asking for feedback, mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you feedback. Okay. But if you send me something and you're not necessarily asking for feedback, mm-hmm. I'm only gonna do that for somebody who's really looking for it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like that's your business. Yeah. You ain't looking for my opinion. Come here, seeing a uh, BJ and um and Renzo on a, on a um it was one Monday. And, um, the, it was people. I'm like, dog. What the fuck do they, these people like? Don't nobody be in their ear like, dog. Stop doing music. <laughs> nah, sometimes that's definitely oof. Man, those those, those live shows be yeah. I'm like, you got some confidence, like for real, <laughs> for real. But no, as, as an artist, I just believe like you can. You, you we all have like favorite artists that we listen to, I and mean, people we like like listen to that music, then listen to yours, and see like the the difference, like. Just be real with yourself. Like, don't, and don't okay. do music just because people around you do it. But honestly, people, like, I hear music differently now that I know more about music. So okay. I feel like if people don't really know about music, they really be convinced, like, <laughs> damn. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> this shit is yeah. bang. Yeah. Like, <laughs> for sure. They yeah. really be convinced. <laughs> that's just how I go. Yeah, and you do got those ones who, who do music but really ain't into the music. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, so they don't know what a good beat is. They yeah. just think because they hear something. Yeah, they ain't doing, doing the history. Something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny as hell. Hey man, listen, if y'all doing music, just stop. If it's if it's not good, if you're not getting that, if just it's been, ask for feedback. Yeah, yeah. Ask for, for sure. feedback. Hey, you can send it to me. Send mm-hmm. it to me. <laughs> send it to Q. He'll tell you the truth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he gonna tell you the truth. He gonna gas your ass up. He be gassing. <laughs> <laughs> you a gas or Q? Go wow, on. it's the agreement. We, for me. Dude, we know he know who I'm talking about because I, I would never put this person's name out there because I'm not uh, that type of person. But, but y'all I'll know be, who y'all talking yeah, about. Yeah, I'll be rolling. <laughs> that is horrible. But I'm like, it's the confidence. I applaud the confidence. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have confidence. Got to. Yeah, you got to. But it's like some of that shit, bro. If I'm not getting the love that, it, give me a couple years. If I'm not getting love, then I'm done. Cause you can't get better. Like, don't get me you wrong. You can't get better. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, if it stay the same, yeah, like, maybe just. I mean, it depends. Some people just want to do what they do and put it outside. Man, I had a dude come on the show. He wanted to come back a second time. I said, hell no. What'd you say to him for real? Oh, I ain't say hell no to him because I'm like, <laughs> my nigga <laughs> might catch me. I'm always by myself. So. <laughs> but no, it just wasn't good music. Yeah. And no, he, I feel you know that. what I'm saying? You know, I mean, it was. That's it not was, what we do here. It was bad. And the whole social media front. They make it seem like they like they're good artists or they dope because they ain't bought followers and comments and likes. So you just looking like damn this nigga, damn this that and third, but you really looking in the in the shit like you see everything is fake. So you Sheesh. got those too. You got the I fake feel artists. Bad for whoever that is. <laughs> Fuck. You know it, 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 it's a multitude of people like <laughs> I'm using good words. It's Sunday, nigga. I ate breakfast. But <laughs> now give me I, this is something I didn't ask you last time you was on the show. If I want to know who Tori Sky is, but I can only figure out who you are through a song or an album, what song or album would that be? It could be yours or it could be somebody else's. I'm going to really know who you are without you opening up your mouth. Sheesh. She thinking. It's always be the, 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 the question I get, I get people. So I'm going to go like who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is only partial because I don't feel like no album really summed me up as a person, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to go Seven Streeter, Drunken Words, Sober Thoughts. Okay. That one is like... Mm -hmm. But you got to listen to all the music, though, not just the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like everything. Okay, and they'll they, they tell me about you a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. For sure, for sure. A little bit. And I do want to ask one more question as far as like relationships. Before you get into relationships, should every man or woman have a whole face? <laughs> <laughs> like before he like totally commit I say that to say What does whole face mean? I mean not necessarily just You know fucking everybody in the world But just you know <laughs> you know, not the world You know cause sex could be included Sex um, Date multiple people Just having a, a experience Before you go ahead and lock it down I say yeah Definitely an experience I don't mm. know about whole face yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me But <laughs> But if that's what you need, mm -hmm. then definitely do what you need. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely need to experience because if you don't have experiences, yeah, you gotta know like because yeah. like it's like if you try just one Pacific food, but you never tried nothing else, so that piece of good you slacking. But shit, you never had chicken wings like grandma made. Like you never had okay. like whole life change. Yeah, for sure. So <laughs> I just feel like not say, not necessarily when I say whole phase, I'm not like saying like just be out there hoeing and stuff like that, but just. Having multiple people maybe dating and stuff and just going yeah. out, getting to know people to kind of sure. like know the person that you want. You know what I'm saying? But I would never tell my kid to go through a whole phase. Like, not my daughter. <laughs> like, don't. You sound like such a dad. Yeah, like my, <laughs> not hey. my daughter. But not that. I mean, but you're supposed to feel like that. But yeah. I'm not saying she's going to have a whole phase, but yeah. she has to date. You feel me? Yeah, she, unfortunately, unfortunately, she yeah. had to date. Might as well get prepared. Now, um, music. I always gotta get the music next week. Uh, cause I was gonna hit you up one day, like, huh, where the music at, dog? Like, cause I was a little worried and concerned. Cause, like, <laughs> when I like people, I, that's why I hate liking people music sometimes. Cause you'd be, you'd be wanting them to put out as much like, music as come possible. On, bring some more. Yeah. What's yeah, happening? For sure. Like, like, cause you're a dope artist. And I feel like you can make some good music. But next week, you'll be dropping a single uh, titled uh, Summer Nights. Yes, I you am. You know what I'm saying? Talk about that track and, um, you know, who, who uh, helped, you know, on production side, all that good stuff. Gotcha. So, um, Summer Night is my first single since May of, I almost want to say 21. Man, I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, not 21. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, this is like, this is my baby right now. Mm -hmm. This is what I care about. Um, Sam Watson, um, Mikhail and myself wrote the song mm -hmm. and it is fire. Yeah. I really, I really love it. Sam came up with the idea. Mm -hmm. He, I ended up winning this contest and he wrote me the hook mm -hmm. and the first verse. And he was like, I know how I want it to sound. I know what we're going for. I just need you to help me help the song. Yeah. And yeah, he did. And it sounds wrote. very, very fire. Now, when I think about summer nights, I think about, you know, what I'm saying not necessarily drunk, but I just think about you got a nice buzz, you ride down eight mile, <laughs> you uh, you know, what I'm saying windows down a little bit, breeze coming through your hair and shit, like you know, what I'm saying this is some good R and B on your way home, man. Maybe you about to go ahead and smash something or <laughs> <laughs> <Period>. <laughs> Period. like what what's, what what do you think about when you summer nights? So summer night is kind of like. 
Definitely like what you said, mm -hmm. driving mm -hmm. top down, but you definitely got to have the sunset. For you sure. definitely got to have the vibes. Mm -hmm. um, without the vibes, it's not a summer night. You feel me? For sure. Um, and it's just it's kind of to get into, like, for me, what the purpose of the song is. Like you said, it's about to be cold. Yep. It's about to be cuffing season. For sure. Um, yeah. She cuffed don't, don't, cuff, don't, 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 don't try to talk to Tori. It's about <laughs> to be cuffing season. And your person should still make you feel like a summer night. For like, sure, you sure. shouldn't be... Mm -hmm. Feeling like Ugh, it's cold. Yeah, like, for sure. <laughs> for sure. You yeah. should feel like a summer night. Yeah. How do you keep that? Like when you say your person should make you feel like, feel like a summer night. Like, how do you keep that? That like when you with somebody for so long, mm -hmm. how do you keep that? Like, still, I can't wait to see you. I'm happy to see you. Let's hang out. Cause a lot of times we get too complacent. Another, another big word. Damn, I'm doing good. You're doing really good. <laughs> but good no, like, it, it, I even blame myself sometimes. I, you know, sometimes you'd be like, oh, I ain't gonna say how you look today or nothing like that. Yeah. But you learn. So how do you keep that? Like keep keep it going, keep it fun, keep it keep it fresh. I feel like it's multiple things. The first thing is number one, liking your person. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like people who are together that don't like each other, <laughs> like whoa, it's a but lot people of do that though. Yeah. Um, and then I feel like caring about the other person's needs mm -hmm. is important. If you don't care how they feel, then you don't care how they feel. Mm -hmm. um, so that in communication, like sure. if I'm your person and you my person, I'm gonna tell you when you're not making me happy. No, you got and to. If you can't respond to that, yeah. then you're not my person. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Because a lot of times <laughs> we be out here mad as hell, don't be saying nothing. Nothing. So and that's that person, horrible. yeah, the other person clueless to what's going on. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, you definitely gotta uh, keep it real with your partner and stuff at all times. For sure. Can you keep it real with about sex though? Like you ain't been doing it. Like, yeah. Switch. We need to switch up a little bit. Or... Listen, if you can't do that, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just supposed to not tell you. Yeah. No. Yeah, you, not put, you gotta say a little so something, something. Gotta gotta say something. Now how you say it. Yeah. And maybe you could just be a little, gentle. a little bit. Yeah. Maybe you ain't gotta say it, but you could just be like, Hey, I yeah. like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's yeah. try this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I like when you say this and shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know? For you sure. ain't never said this before. Why not? <laughs> yeah. But then you got some nigga be like, no, she ain't never did this before. Who she doing it with? You got, <laughs> but that be niggas who just yeah, be, you that, know. but that is facts though, cause like where that come from? Yeah, exactly. I get it. I get exactly, it. But, exactly. You know, sometimes you could just make her feel like that. Mm -hmm. Now, would this single lead to a project or another single? Um, probably another single. Mm -hmm. Honestly, um, I still have a project that I started working on. I'm still working on, but I think that's gonna be really, really fire. So. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to really focus on each song that I'm putting on there. Do you ever feel rushed? No, not when no more. Music? Well, let me not lie. I felt rushed getting to this point mm -hmm. because I hadn't put out anything. Um, but now that I am writing again, so just to say that, mm -hmm. I am out of that phase. I am writing again. Um, I have like elevated my sound within myself and my confidence. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Hell yeah. We... Uh, we, uh, we we need a project though. I can't wait. Like y'all gonna get a project. <laughs> y'all for sure gonna get a like, project. I, I, I promise. I, I realized. Promise. I realized a couple months ago that I don't really like rap music like I used to. Yeah, I used to love. Yeah, like I listen to way more R and B than like anything. Yeah. Like I like I like a good R and B album. Uh, make make my work day like smooth. Okay, give it to you. And then I might just play it twice. Yeah, for sure. No, shit, I'll be <laughs> playing that shit over and over again. Like that. <laughs> over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be like I listen to what's an album. The other day, that shit was hard. Uh, Friday. I haven't heard the whole yeah, album yet, but I have heard songs. He's like, fired up. Yeah, he hard. I'm like, damn. And the whole Afro beats, that's taking over the whole... Would you make some Afro beats? Taking type? over. Would you um, make some type of music like that? I definitely would. Mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to tell you. I'm working on this sound. I got... Sure. I'm. The sound is... We, yeah, for we sure. going there. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm trying, at least. <laughs> now, if you, when you do put album out... When, when do you expect for it to, you know what I'm saying, come out like, or you don't have no timetable right now? I don't have no timetable right now, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I, so with me again going through this season, I ended up getting a home studio. Mm -hmm. So I have all my stuff at home now. Um, and that's where I'm writing at. That's where I'm learning how to record myself. Mm -hmm. I'm learning how to, you know, just do different stuff. So that's my focus right now mm -hmm. outside of creating um, certain music so far sure. as just being able to produce myself but for sure for sure now i know my producer q y'all y'all see him he behind the boards he's a tubi fanatic 
You feel me? He watched everything in Tubi. So you, I'm quite sure you heard her song, though. She had her song, some of her songs on, on Tubi movie. Uh, what it was called? Energy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she had her song on there. Like, how did that, how, how was that? Was that something you did intentionally or somebody just kind of, like, came to you with the idea? Like, talk about that. So, shout out to Energy. Shout mm-hmm. out to Eminence Films. Shout out to Sabri. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually went to school with the girl who directed and starred in that movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went to high school together. And we've kept in contact like a couple of years after high school and she ended up, I posted a TikTok mm. with my song Home Perfect on it. And okay. she was in the middle of making her film mm. and she was like, send me this, you know, I want to put it in my movie. Uh, so I sent that over to her and then I ended up sending her love with me too. Mm. And she ended up placing them in both yeah. of her love That's scenes. Dope. Hell yeah. Now, is that the goal for you like now? Cause that shit, like I said, it's so many Detroit movies that come out now to yeah. be like no nah, that's facts I that... actually I'm in Who You With too mm-hmm. um, that's okay. on 2B2 okay okay so that's something you going are you trying to are you ever writing music now thinking like this shit can be placed in the movie a love scene this and third most definitely um, that's again one of my focuses of what I've been learning like mm-hmm where i hear my music at so it can kind of help me cater to that just a little bit Mm -hmm. um so yeah i definitely see myself as also a soundtrack artist like um i've been hit up a couple times in regards to doing a couple soundtracks Mm -hmm. and actually sabri wants to work on one with me as well uh, for her next movie so that'd be dope that'd be dope if you just like do it what if you do like an ep4 movie like so do you I would definitely do it. Hell yeah hell yeah i'll be come up with some good ideas man yeah (laughs) (laughs) would you would you ever be in a tubi movie you ever, I like, actually, I mean, I don't want you to say to me like, movie, don't movie. say it like that. Just ask me what I be in a movie, because I mean, it's the same the thing. thing. I want to be in two movie bands. Like, just... I would definitely be in a two movie. <laughs> All right, let's um, say movie. We gonna say it because we yeah, gotta put the two year behind it. That was you. Um, yeah, 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 I would definitely. <laughs> she would me like that was you, cuz that was definitely you. It was um, me. It was me. I would be in a movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What sure. what would you see your role being like? Who would you be? In the, in the grand so scheme because of- I'm not an actress, yeah. like I'm not gonna go for something real crazy. That's for not sure. really my personality. Yeah. But if I could be in a reality show or something mm-hmm. where I'm like, just I don't know myself, yeah. but not really myself, still yeah. make me act. You feel me? For sure. But for maybe sure. maybe make me mad. I want to yeah. see myself act mad. Like, yeah. <laughs> mad. do I do I look serious? Yeah, because you you just seem like you just super chill. With everything. I am chill until am. until somebody make you mad. I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm chill. I'm chilling, but you just gonna be able to feel when I'm mad. I'm more so, that type of person. Like, mm-hmm. when last time you got mad? What was the reason you was mad? <laughs> yeah, that one right there. You knew it. <laughs> when I started laughing, they be thinking about that one shit. Like, um, you be asking too many questions. I'm shit. not telling you that one. You know how it is. I'm not telling you that one. <laughs> <laughs> last time I got mad was, <laughs> I don't know. We're just going to skip that. <laughs> Alright, we're going to skip that. We're going to skip that. I smell love in the air. But, no. Uh, <laughs> no, like, no. I'm talking shit, man. I'm talking shit. Don't get mad at me there. But um, is there any artists in the city that keep you on your toes? Uh, For sure. Yeah. Um, I would really say my the people that I'm around. Mm-hmm. Asaka, Christiana, mm-hmm. Jazz, Mikhail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 cause like, so do you look at it like, damn, they doing their thing? I got, gotta do something quick or like, not necessarily quick, but mm. I definitely be like, okay, I like that. That's yeah, fire. For sure. Let me go cook yeah. up something real quick. Hell yeah. <laughs> so it's like in your mind, it's a competition because with this podcast shit, it's competition. Like it, it, even though I, I love other shows in the city, I do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, of course I'm gonna talk a little shit, but I like it's competition in my eye just to make me better. So I feel like it's definitely a competition, but mm. it's a competition with yourself for real. Mm, it's for not really part. so with so far as them. No, they more so motivation for me, not mm-hmm. competition. Um, but other people and stuff like that, it's mm-hmm. just like I don't really compare myself to nobody. So how 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 are we gonna compete? For sure. Oh damn, she talking shit. Talk no, heavy. I'm saying <laughs> like, heavy talk right I'm there. just saying sincerely. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> See, that's that's how I said shit. <laughs> I wasn't even saying it like that. Yeah, say that again. That made me feel like I want to talk some shit now. I want to be on my Diddy shit. Talk, talk behind Diddy you. Diddy been cutting up. I love Diddy. Hell you yeah. Been out here, okay? Give me uh, uh, some songs that you listen to when you hype, sad, or want to be motivated. All like, three? 
Yeah, give me give me your uh, your sad. What's a, what's a song you listen to when you like sad? Your feelings like you just hurt. Mm. Or L. I'm a probably if I'm sad in my feelings, I'm probably listening to her because she be yeah. she do enough but so, not too much. You yeah, know? I love her. What's a, what's uh, some you listen to for, for motivation? Motivation. It's either going to be sometimes myself. Mm-hmm. Um, other times nothing, just the beat. Mm. Uh, yeah. For sure. What, I don't really know so far as motivation. I just really been. What about hype? Like to get you hype? Like you about to? Like you, you want? You I'm nervous? definitely listening to Drake J oh, to get me hype. What's I'm not gonna though? lie. Um, really anything. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. like Drake. I don't. I do. Like, I got. I'm like. I don't know. I'm. I'm not denying. Like I'm not one of them niggas who like. Oh, he trash. I just never been like. He he made good music. I just never. Had, I don't think he got one project that just like over the top, a classic project. What? I Not don't. one. The oh, closest one. Tripping. What's the album tripping. he had when he was like the baby with the sky and the afro? Um, I can't remember the name. Yeah, but, but that one. I know was, what you're talking about. That one was straight. I mean, it was straight, but he has definitely had some dope projects. He has some dope projects, but it's like it's different between dope and a classic. Like when you think about like Jay Z, he got class albums like you could say reasonable doubt you could say blueprint shit you know what i'm saying now you about to make me <laughs> when you think about not you trying to name drop like drake don't have nothing <laughs> hey, hold on you know you, i ain't got no classic you tripping because you're looking through your phone <laughs> no it's, that's my fault that's my fault because i don't want to say the wrong thing no but uh, yeah like, you tripping i'm sorry i'm not even gonna say all of these <laughs> you tripping man he dope he dope he dope like overall when you want to appeal to the dudes, the women, the kids, singers, rappers, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, he dope, but I just yeah. don't think he got a project that just be like, and I know niggas going to shoot me down when they see this or or whatever. Not shoot you down. I just don't think they a <laughs> classic album. He got I'm classic a, songs. I'm going to respect it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to respect it. Yeah, I'm man. Respect it. Well, whatever it is, Drake. <laughs> now, yesterday, last night, I hit you up asking about an album that's maybe in your rotation. I did mm -hmm. that for a reason. So last night you had gave me a Chris Brown uh, Breezy, the deluxe. So the reason why I said that because I'm going to take a title track and turn it into a conversation. Okay. You feel me? Let's go. So nobody has to know. We're going to start with that one. What's something that nobody has to know that's um, going on with you? Something that nobody has to know. Or nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> where's my laugh you already know like because what um something that nobody knows is that i actually think that people don't know how goofy i am for real for sure. like i feel like because i'm chill everybody think i'm just chill but mm -hmm. i'm not always chill i really i mm -hmm. can have a little fun you, for sure. with you, you know for sure for <laughs> sure for sure luckiest man what makes being with you somebody the luckiest man Damn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. You see that? That's what you get. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, Somebody, motherfucker. Yeah, we in the hood, y'all. God damn. It's niggas. okay. It's okay. Um, Ain't your car, is it? <laughs> no, it's coming from that one. No, way. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, what makes somebody the luckiest man mm -hmm. in regards to me? Mm -hmm. I would say the way I communicate. Like, For I'm sure. not going to say I'm perfect. You feel me? But. Mm -hmm. I have, um, I'm very big on open communication. I'm very big on saying how you feel, saying how I feel. So sure. I feel like a lot of women don't know how to do that. Okay, okay, okay. In the city, what's something in the city that you that you hate? Like, what's something about the city that you like? It could be something you hate, something you love. What's something about this? Give me something about the city that you love or hate, um, or both. I give you both. Something in the city that I hate is. Everybody be hating. <laughs> for sure. No, for sure. Like, do. it's not everybody, but Detroit definitely, when you go somewhere mm. and you know that somebody is like at least decent, for like sure. they not trash. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. still clap. No, for sure. Not Detroit. No, niggas go. They is sitting there like this bitch. <laughs> I just be like, just clap, y'all. Man, for sure. No. That's at least, it can be a faint clap. It ain't got to be nothing crazy, but. They look right at you like. So yeah, that's something that I hate um, yeah. about Detroit, and yeah, but you gotta. It's also gonna build you up though. So yeah, what's something you love then? Something I love about Detroit is mm -hmm. the way that we react to music. Mm -hmm. Like 
I've been out of state. I've interacted with different people, and I feel like Detroit has like the most appreciation for music. For sure, for, for sure. sure. Dream. What's your, should I, should I go with, what, 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 what a dream you have that you want to achieve, or what's the last dream you had? Got be one answer. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go last dream I had. Mm -hmm. Last dream I had, I was at the airport. Was I at the airport? Yes. No, I wasn't at the airport. I was at home, mm -hmm. and somebody came into my room that I haven't seen in a very, very long time, mm -hmm. and we chopped it up. For sure. But yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Sex memories. <laughs> <laughs> What's your question? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have to ask a direct question. What's the question? <laughs> oh, see, I, so I see that joke. What? What? Because <laughs> do you ever like? Never mind. I don't want to be disrespectful, so we just skip that one. Okay. God, I say, do you? No, I can't because I don't know what's going on with your life, so I'm gonna skip that one together. All right. You could have oh. came up with a PG sex memory question. Okay. Come on. You the best podcast trying, to, <laughs> in the world. What I'm you trying, doing? I'm trying to think how I got oh, a PG, PG. Okay, as as um before you ever before you ever did anything, talk about like, like 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 just you thinking about like the first time you gonna actually have sex. Okay, that's so what my expectations. Were. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, like, got you. Good. That's, job. That was a good. That's, one. A, good, I am, that's a good question. Because see, I, I didn't want to be disrespectful because no, I don't know what you got going on. I appreciate that. I know that. you ain't appreciate saying too much, that. so I don't want to. You know, <laughs> you're saying enough for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> So I would say that my expectations was that I don't know it was gonna be like, mm -hmm. like movies. Movies, movies yeah, just be yeah, be, <laughs> they just be <laughs> for sure. It's a the gig is up. Yeah, yeah. the gig is up. Um, but no, so far as your first time, like yeah. it's just not. You just be thinking like, yeah. oh shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this, this is for real. See, I was thinking too early about it. I was like, nah, like how long is this gonna be? Dang, yeah, that's a little early. <laughs> but I, I watched my first porno out there that age, too. Got you. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little different. So, yeah. And I think girls are a little different. Yeah, for sure. I, don't want, I hope. My, don't think about it now, baby girl, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little different. I don't feel like I started thinking about that until I was a teenager, yeah, number sure. one, and not like fresh teen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And for sure. Now, now, was it a funny experience, bad experience, or like this ain't what I was thinking experience? It just was not it. Yeah, for sure. It okay. It's not it. We get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. <laughs> Closure. What's what's something that you had to like, like, if it's a relationship, if it's a friend, what's something that you needed closure on before you just kind of like made made it officially over? It could be a a job. It could be some personal like anything that you you just needed to like kind of like hey I got to have that conversation before I mark it over. Yeah, um, I would say. I don't know. I feel like I have closure with pretty much a lot of things in my life, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Good. Cause I remember, like, when my oldest son, mom, I remember, when we, I remember we made it officially over. Like, I said, and you need it. Yeah, I wasn't, like, going to fight about it no more. Like, we, I just went, like, listen, I know you. this is what you want. This is what we're going to do. It was a good run. Peace. Like, it was like, that was like, that's just, I feel just, like, this is how yeah. conversation was. I feel like, but you asked me, that I didn't, right? No, no, no. I asked you something that you like, something that you had to, you know, saying you you needed closure on before you you had ended it, you know. Okay, things. got you. I would say with my child's father, mm -hmm. just because how we gonna have a co-parenting mm -hmm. relationship? If, exactly. If it's still some shit that ain't said, yeah. So yeah. definitely closure there for sure. Call me every day. When you with somebody, do I gotta be like constant throughout the day, texting, calling? Like I need to know where you at. What's going on? Not I need to know where you at, but, and not constant calling, but whatever work, mm -hmm. but I do like to talk to my person, mm -hmm. like, at the same time, so, mm -hmm. it depends on the day. If yeah. that's not the type of day it is, that's not sure. the type of day it is, but if For it sure. is and we want to, then yeah, but if we don't want to, then mm -hmm. that's okay, too. Need you right here. So, say you're in a relationship, like, what, what's something that happens that you be like, I need you right here, like... We, hey, leaving the club, leaving, you know, have a few drinks. Right. I need you, hey, 12 that's, o'clock. That's definitely, <laughs> that's definitely one of them. Yeah. And then, <laughs> <laughs> I 
I would say also like after you just not feeling it, like mm -hmm. I'm having a bad day. Mm -hmm. Like, get me together. For sure. Hell yeah. yeah. Sleep at night. What's some things you think about before you go ahead and just, you know, saying close your eyes and take that that, that good sleep? I definitely pray mm -hmm. or try to as much as I can before I go to sleep. Um and I'm be thinking about food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, no. I mean, thinking about, think what about I'm food gonna before eat. you go to bed. <laughs> what am I gonna eat tomorrow? Like yeah. I'm so serious. Yeah, definitely. Show it. How can somebody show that they really care about you or love you? Like, and they ain't gotta be relationship. It could be friendship. Could be family. Like, how can somebody show that they really like care about you and, and love you? Um, by I don't know, paying attention to what's going on at the moment. I mm -hmm. guess. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like if I know that somebody that. You know, I care about is going through something. Maybe it's they going through some confidence issues. I'm mm -hmm. going to try to uplift them a little bit, sure. make them feel better. So I feel like you got to read the room. Okay. Addicted. This is the last one. What's something that you're addicted to? Anything? Something that I'm addicted to. I love sauce. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't eat food without sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's like, the go to sauce? Go to sauce? Yeah. Mine's motherfucker. Sweet Baby Ray's Barbecue. Mine is Caribbean jerk sauce. It don't really oh, matter oh, who it huh? is. Yeah, yeah. I just, it just tastes so good. What's, what, what's the sauce that you refuse to eat? Because I can't eat nothing like white besides Alfredo sauce. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do I it. I think we talked about yeah, this last Yeah, for that white sauce. <laughs> um, something I cannot eat mm. is, I really don't like sweet chili sauce. Like Sweet chili sauce? It's just too much going on. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's too much. <laughs> What's your advice for someone that want to start something but afraid of failing? Um, definitely trial and error. Mm. You might not do the best at it, but you're not gonna fail if you keep trying. Mm. Um, even if it's not the best business, you no, can't for sure. fail if you trying. Hell yeah! Now with you, I'm not understanding like with this podcast thing, man. What's going on with it? Like, what you want to do? You got any ideas, or you just over it? Um, I definitely have ideas. I'm not over it. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like when I do drop my podcast, it's definitely going to be... I'm just paying attention. Mm -hmm. I'm paying attention. I'm reading the room. For you sure. feel me? Could trying you... to understand what's going on with these podcasts out here. Mm -hmm. I just want mine to be like a little different, have a niche to it. Because last, last time you had co-hosts on, all right? You yeah. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So would it be like that or it would be Dolo? Would it be um, guest-driven? Yeah. It would be guest driven mm -hmm. and dolo at the same time. So I kind of switch it up, but I definitely would want to be the only host mm -hmm. with guests. And um, I definitely, I'm going to keep that to myself because that's sure. going to be my, my niche. Sure. So, yeah, yeah, put in your pocket, put in your pocket. <laughs> heck yeah, heck yeah. So yeah, you need to do it though. I, yeah, mean, I know, I know. I'm going to do it. And I think it's And I like the pressure you be putting yeah, on. Yeah, I sure. appreciate for it. So I'm going to build your head about it. <laughs> and it's a way that you can incorporate the music. You know what I'm saying? You can still do exactly. You know what I'm saying? All type exactly. of whatever you got going on. It can be you bring a homie, uh, Renzo in there, but he could talk. Y'all got, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Different things like that. For sure. You feel me? I just, I, I like to give out assists, you know, little ideas, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, nah, this is, I'm going to make sure. Yeah. He got to come on my podcast and we're going to have a nice conversation. Oh, yeah. Ask me anything. So we're going to have a good conversation. You ask me anything. Matter of fact, ask a question right now. All right. <laughs> um, let's see here. I, I'm, I'm going to answer it too. To the best my, of my question for you is I'm going to put you in the hot seat mm -hmm. Ooh She's <laughs> <laughs> about so crazy or so bad Has In the past 10 episodes <laughs> Oh shit here we go <laughs> In the past 10 episodes <laughs> yeah. Has there been any time Where you said should we post this Uh I don't think so I don't think so. Let me go. No. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna look down my name real quick. Hold on. <laughs> uh, should, should we Q, post? You should, too. Should we post it? Should we post the interview as far as like because it was trash? Yeah. Let me see. One, two, three, Not the last four, five, six. Oh, I see two. No, it, it, that we shouldn't post it, but it just wasn't good to me. Okay, got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, bro. We disagree on that though. What up? The ones that you didn't like. No, we we agree on one for sure. That we that, we, that didn't like that we thought was trash. Look, at this. look. I'm not even about to look. <laughs> <laughs> it's too old. That's how messy you be. I just wanted you to know. It's too old trash. 
It wasn't like trash, but it just wasn't like it wasn't the it best. It wasn't. It wasn't it. Yeah, it just wasn't. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't trash. Oh. <laughs> See. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's two of them, right? You know what I'm saying? Talking yeah, about just two of them. Yeah, two of them. But the other ones was, was... One for sure. Yeah, I know you're talking about two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any more questions? Um, Next question is... Oh, cool. oh my God. I thought you were going to tell me the name of somebody. <laughs> like... No. Um, what advice, because you're married, mm-hmm. what advice would you give to the... Guys, my age mm-hmm. dating right now, uh, and because you, you can see the dating pool. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> don't waste nobody's time. Don't wait if you if you feel like you still out here, you know, what I'm saying playing around in the streets. You know, what I'm saying don't waste nobody's time because shit, nigga, at this age, twenty six, twenty seven, ain't no ain't anybody trying to play around. Nah, fact. you know what I'm saying. Get, if you if you feel that you ain't ready for a relationship, don't get one. You know, what I'm saying then if you is gonna get one. Like be a good dude, a good nigga. Like don't be on your girl head. Don't don't make her run away from you. Make the the relationship feel fresh. Compliment her because another nigga would. I learned that shit Period. from my producer. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if she if you see him get them toes done, hair did, say something about it because she gonna feel good about it. And then when the next nigga say something, ain't gonna really mean shit. You know what I'm saying? But if you That's ain't fact. saying nothing, and, and somebody else is, yeah. <laughs> my wife is a teacher so you know it's dad's coming in here like <laughs> you feel me so if it's something going on you know what I'm saying the smallest thing or the biggest thing just let them know but just don't waste nobody's time I feel like that's that's advice for just anybody everything like, yeah. don't waste nobody's time cause these days niggas dying in a heartbeat so you just don't waste nobody's time Facts. and don't let no girl fall in love with you knowing you don't want to be with them Please. You know what I'm saying? Fact. Please. <laughs> let, let them know off the rip. Like, this ain't how it's going to be. <laughs> this okay. ain't what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, that's my whole thing. Because uh, I know people personally to me who've who been played with. And it's like, you don't It's want... just not cool. Especially yeah. when you know. Yeah. Like, when you know, no. Like, yeah. how do you even do that? How you know when somebody is the one? Um, Just the way that they make you feel, honestly. Yeah. not Well, not just feel so far as them. But mm-hmm. just through going through situations mm-hmm. when you go through bad stuff you go through sure. good stuff like mm-hmm. if you can still feel good with that person going through bad stuff yeah. then oh no that's, no that's, that's a, a good fact thing. that's a fact because this summer we've been going through it <laughs> like, <laughs> and we still love each other like oh this okay. is this is some good shit right okay. here for real for real damn somebody i love about, that for you oh someone i was about to say what you had you had said what you had said before? which part? damn i told you i'm losing my mind dog fuck <laughs> what'd i say Going through the bad stuff, you said. It was like, oh, um, I said, <laughs> if, if you feel good when you're going through bad stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, somebody was going to elaborate on that, but whatever. But no, for sure, that's a that's a fact. Like, if you can feel good with that person through the bad and not just the good, like, yeah, then she is a keeper or he a keeper or whatever, man. Facts. Anything else, or you know, you want to save it for the show? You said what? Anything else? Yeah, it's like somebody took some money from me. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why you just looked like that. Yeah, like what the heck. I'm gonna let you figure that out. Oh no, no, it's good. It's good. Oh, it's good. Okay, okay. Good. okay, you good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like, Damn, I ain't anything else I want to elaborate? Oh, on the question. Um, yeah, and just keep make it about y'all. Mm-hmm. Don't make it about everybody else, y'all friends, and mm-hmm. all that good stuff. No, for sure. Like, definitely keep it balanced, but having your own space is important too. Yeah. Okay, it was two good good questions and stuff, man. Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to get my business or something, or you you good? <laughs> like, I wasn't prepared. Since I got yours, it just, I don't. I don't have no questions prepared. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I got man. you. I got you when you come to my podcast, though. What would be the name of your podcast? Name of my podcast. I'm gonna probably stick with what I already had. Uh, yeah. Quality melanin. Okay, okay, okay. That's Hell just, yeah. That's just. Hell yeah. It just fits the brand. Now I've been doing this thing lately called "What's Worse." I give you two things, and you tell me what's worse about it. I okay. hate, this is my first time doing it with a, with a lady. Okay. But know with the dudes. What's worse? Yo, man, come extra quick. I'm talking three pumps and out, or you can't get it up at all. You could just stay there. <laughs> Don't three pump me. <laughs> so just stay there. Stay limp. Just, just, I'm, we could try next time. <laughs> three pumps is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I got a story about that, but never mind. <laughs> uh, titties with no nipples, nipples and no titties. Which one worse? <laughs> You, oh, you got that nipples, but no breasts. Like just flat. Like when I was like, 
Okay. <laughs> I'ma definitely go <laughs> they don't have to have no nipple. Cause I guess like well, I mean, flat chest is okay. Yeah, yeah, but so I guess I go with that because okay. maybe the other one look a little weird. For sure, for sure. Being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with tall legs. <laughs> oh <my laughs> <God>. <laughs> Which one worse? <laughs> Dog. Um I'm gonna say the first one. Tall nigga with short arms? Yeah. Because like the other one. I'm still trying to figure out what that looked like. Nigga, barely hug you and shit, dog. <laughs> I got to a, a, a I, 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 you know, because sometimes as niggas, you know, give him a little bam, then hug. Mm-hmm. But the nigga was taller than me, and he was drunk. Like, so when he hugged me, he kind of like put his arm on top of my arm, so my arm was like kind of like his waist. <laughs> so I, I feel weird as hell. <laughs> like, like that's how women feel. Like, I'm hugging this nigga whole waist it's, and shit. But it's different, though. I feel like we feel like it's different. All right, what's worse? No car, nice crib. Nice car, no crib. Where he live at? <laughs> I don't know. He just got a crib. No, this is for you. No, I know. I'm saying. What's worse for you? In oh, your worse situation. for me? Yeah. Having a no, no car, nice crib, but nice car, no crib. Nice car, no crib. Oh, shit. Like, how nice we talking? Talking top of the top. Like, the biggest of the biggest houses or the best of the best car. Oh, biggest house. You, I, it was okay. the question. I, I'm sorry. For sure I was just it. thinking like priority wise. You might get a car before you get a crib. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I mean? <laughs> Dying from getting shot or dying from getting stabbed. Which one do you think would be worse? Um, dying from getting shot. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That, no, I don't you, know. That's stab, a hard question. I say stab because you, you're going through them. Ha, ha, you might get shot and die off rip. Oh, I thought you was saying like one stab. Though. No, I'm talking about multiple oh, stabs. No. Like. <laughs> oh, no. no, I'm straight. Uh-uh. Somebody, what's worse? Somebody talking through a movie or somebody telling you how a movie ends? Somebody tell me how it ends. Because. Okay. No, I don't want to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I don't okay. even need to watch it. Now, you have a, a kid, son, not having money on Christmas or not having money on your kid's birthday. Which one worse? I'm going to say Christmas only because everybody else mm-hmm. is experiencing it. So it's like, I want my kid to experience it. If, mm-hmm. you know, we were family or something mm-hmm. like that. A birthday, I can get away with. For sure. I for can. Sure. We could, yeah, you, you can know, add lib or make do. <laughs> All right. Now, I'll ask dudes this. This will be funny asking you this. Losing your man to your homegirl or losing your man to your ex? Which one's worse? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely the ex. <laughs> like, damn, you ain't fucking left me for a nigga? Because what? How would that mess with your because psyche? Because usually you say homeboy, yeah. and then you say... Yeah, 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 or your ex. So it's like... My, yeah, it's different. Yeah, 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 okay, because yeah. I'm about to say... How would that mess with your psyche, though, if you actually lost your dude to another man? Would that mess with... <laughs> like... <laughs> Well, that messed with your whole confidence, like, like, what did I do wrong to make this nigga go to a nigga? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie. That's hurting my feelings right now. <laughs> like, what? Man. And, ugh. No, I'm sorry. Like, losing somebody to that, again, everybody do what they do. No, for sure, for sure. You feel sure. me? Mm-hmm. I have no, no opinion on that, but my dude mm-hmm. going to my old dude, <laughs> ugh. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> That's, that's yeah, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> All type of way. Crazy All right. question. What's worse, finding out your parents ain't really your parents, or finding out your siblings are adopted? My parents not being my parents because yeah. well, who am I? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> my siblings gonna be like, who are you? <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Find out your mate cheated through a text or an action. Which one worse? Ooh, an action. Mm-hmm. Nobody want to see that. All right, what's worse, failing at something or not starting something at all? Not starting, for sure. All right, last one. What's worse, break up in person or break up over a text? Break up over a text is worse. I don't know, in person. I just, exactly. I it depends. In person, I don't Too know. much pressure? Yeah, it might hurt me and shit. Like, damn, you're going to break up with me in my face? But you you probably want that, though. You got to yeah, respect somebody. because I wish somebody would text me. 
My tour is over. <laughs> That's crazy. And then block you. So you can't. Like, what? That. That's wild. <laughs> You're tripping. Now, we usually end things on a drunk moment, hot moment, but I'm going to end things on this. When's the last time you cried? What was the reason? Rece um, like, I think I asked you that, so I want to know recently. Last time I cried, and what was the reason? I cried when my baby got his first haircut the other day. <laughs> Why you cut his hair? You just, something changed? Uh, yeah, changed. She's about to go to school, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. Do you that. save the hair? Did I save it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I save it. Oh, some. you got to about saying You ain't no classic mama unless you don't yeah, save nah, hair. No, I save some for sure. Hey, mom, mamas don't save the shoes no more. Remember your first pair of shoes would be in the car? That's because the shoes don't be them shoes no <laughs> Yeah, for sure. <laughs> my mama saved my shoes. I remember I had like some Nikes up there, though, on the little, we barely had a car, but when we did have a car, on the little, you know, rear view mirror mm. junk, the <laughs> Damn, niggas don't say shoes on my bet. I feel like they do. Like, I still have um, the first thing he took pictures in, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know about the shoes. Damn, though. I wish I had that. I ain't got nothing. I got some of his shoes, though. Yeah. Maybe not the first ones. For sure, for sure, for sure. Like I said, man, I pre it's always a pleasure you coming on. Thank you. Know you know what I'm saying? You. If we do a part three, it's going to have to be on location. Okay. It's going to have to be. So when you drop the album... I don't know if Renzo got a studio or something, but we got to do it at location. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so irritating. We can definitely do location for sure. For sure. That's how we got to do it. And when you have your podcast, you know what I'm saying? I come in that boy. Yes, you definitely. And listen, you making me come up with a nice little game. Yeah, got it's to. You, got to. I got you. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. You get people, uh, you know what I'm saying, where you can find you on social media and all that good stuff. So you can find me on Instagram at Tori.Sky. That's T O R I dot sky with two y's mm -hmm. um on youtube same thing just no dots no underscores none of that for sure um and yeah you can catch me and energy on tubi as well as who you with my music is actually on the soundtrack so yep, yep. single coming out friday yep my single you know is coming out actually on thursday thursday the my 14th bad. Um, and make sure you check it out because it's fire. And summer nights and stuff, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be playing that, bumping around, you know what I'm saying? Hood near yes, you. yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. You got somebody, uh, you got any motivational words you want to leave people with? Um, motivational words is I do like the question you asked about social media. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to speak on that. I'm going to just say focus on who you are outside of social media. Mm -hmm. No, um, for sure. Whether it's what you do in your job, in your personal life, whatever, be you. Mm -hmm. first and then you know then for, sure. That. for sure for sure i'm gonna leave people with it. love everybody even if you hate them amen, <laughs> amen. You know but no you know what it is man shout out to everybody episode 172 tory the great you know say so y'all might know as tory sky and shit you know what, <laughs> what i'm saying we out man it, it, uh, interview will be in a hood near you i guess <laughs> but no uh, i guess hey uh you know saying your boy shot man ain't no competition if it is i don't see it okay podcast mvp voice of detroit we out I love you all. Bye, y'all. <laughs>